So let me first show you what you guys have been commenting under my videos for quite some time. Well, at least <laughs> this past month. Yes, exactly. An Uno or a Mega is something that you've been using all this time or have lying around. And it's, it's actually a board that usually comes with the starter kits. So that's a good starting point. And all my projects always used a Pro Micro or Leonardo. Well, you guys made me think it can be done by using a Leonardo or U uh, Mega or Uno. So I have a Uno right here. I have a button hooked up. I'm going to put the throttle at 0% and I'm going to click. I'm just going to do it again because let's see, click and there it goes. The beauty of this is that now if I get this working on a bit more friendly scale, even with a Uno or a Mega, you can use them to alter the game state without having to download FSUI PC or something like that by just sending serial commands over the serial. And then we have a console application again. This is going to be working out, going to be worked out a lot more refined version in the end, but that will read the input. And then if it reads, okay, the one has been pressed, because that's just what happens. That's just what happens. If I press this, it's going to send a one over the serial port. So serial.print one. Nothing more, nothing less. And then it's going to read the input. Okay, the throttle has been pressed. Let's set it at 55. This is something I've been working on, but you can imagine that this has quite lots of options. It opens up a new, whole new playing field because, well, the second thing that has been going on this week is this. This is my sub counter. So I've programmed one, so that's okay, but the encasing is actually from my birthday present. It's a 3D printer. So I've made this little case that looks like a crate. Designed it myself. Quite proud of that one. But perhaps you already can see where this is going. If I click this, what if we use this technique create something like this. I'm going to try to create a throttle box that's going to use gears and just a normal shaft with a knob. And I'm aiming to create it in such a way that it can also be made without 3D printing because this encasing can be made out of wood. These can be just normal bolts. This gear can be bought. I have some lying around that can be used. Let me see. And these are quite small ones, but I've got these from Amazon. But you get the drift. I'm trying to achieve something that also can be done without a 3D printer. So if you would like to follow along, you don't have to buy one yourself. So that is something that is coming up. I will inform you more later on this week, even this weekend, I think. And I have more time to work on it. That's just the quick update I wanted to give you about two of my projects. I'm currently also still working on, oh, here we go, on changing the Arduino for receiving the data into a library so it becomes even more easy to implement it in your Arduino. And that's the main focus that I want to have right now is to make it easier for you guys to implement my solutions in your own projects without having to reinvent the wheel. So. I'll see you later this week with a new video. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please leave a like and leave a subscribe. So this number goes up and that would help me out quite a lot. Thanks.